Hello. It is now about 1.15 on Friday. And it's cold outside, and it's getting cold in my classroom. And I didn't bring a lunch, so I have cashews, nuts, and I have my, my students last year, they called it my beer, my cerveza. Anyway, okay, so this will not be a long video. Because I'm tired, and I'm sure you're tired. Okay? Um, okay, today we are talking, so on Monday we talked about subject and object pronouns. Okay? And you got a lot of practice with that, hopefully. I'm really excited to see, I want to see you do some writing where you have to use the pronouns. That's what I really want to see. Um, but today we're going to talk about possession. Um, and specifically, there's possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives. And it's really easy to confuse them. And so we're going to give you that opportunity to practice that. Okay? <laughs> Old, y'all. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's look at, these are our Wednesday notes. The first page is just talking about plain old possession. So um, this is one of those things, the apostrophe S is one of those things that is hard, I think, um, especially for people who speak Spanish because there's no, this doesn't happen in Spanish. Y'all only use this, all right? Um, so we use apostrophe S for people. Occasionally we'll do it for pets right? Or animals. Um, but most of the time it's people. So look, this book belongs to Joe. It is Joe apostrophe S, Joe's book. Okay. And even if the thing, it doesn't matter if the thing is one or many. Okay. You're still going to use apostrophe S. So this just tells you that it's, it's more about Joe. They are Joe's books. The books belong to Joe. They are Joe's books. Okay? Now, if... Okay, so here is the same. So, look, books is plural. Boy is singular. One boy. So, they are the boy apostrophe S books. Now, in the last one, books is plural and boys is plural. So, if the noun, if it's talking about people or... um, Yeah in there it's plural it's more than one then you would say they are the boys books okay with and the apostrophe goes after all right the apostrophe goes after so um so i could tell my husband please make the boys dinner so this um, this doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what comes after. It doesn't matter if dinner or dinners is singular or plural. What matters here is that you're talking about two boys, right? My two of my sons. So that's when you're going to use the apostrophe after is when the thing, the person that owns it is plural. So the people that own it or the people that are possessing it. Okay. <clears throat> You, this should be familiar to you because it's really similar to Spanish. This book has a long title. The title of this book is long. Of this book. Use this for things. Um, and so I'm going to let you do all the reading down here, okay? I'm going to let you do all the reading on these notes. I trust you to do those, okay? So we can go fast. All right. So let's go over... Possessive adjectives. You probably already know these. Okay. Possessive adjectives are going to go before a noun, right? An adjective describes a noun, a person, place, or thing. An adjective describes a noun. Okay. So look at this example. I am having lunch with my cousin. So my is the possessive adjective and cousin is the noun. So my is describing my cousin. So you could also say my tall cousin and then my and tall would both be adjectives describing cousin. Okay. 
And so then look, he made dinner for, there's a preposition, here's our object pronoun, okay? For me, okay? So if you think about possessive adjectives, like let's say, let's do name, like my name, my name. What is your name? His name is Donald Trump, right? Her name. So possessive adjectives, they have something that comes after them, okay? They have something that comes after them, all right? They always go, if you look down here, they always go in front of a noun. So, okay, so I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, it's, look, no apostrophe, lots of English speakers get this confused. This is, um, it can be possessive, like what we talked about over here, like it's uh, like the dog, okay, so if we say this, the dog is hurt, uh, it's mouth. Nope. Okay. Okay, y'all. Forget that. Forget that. Okay. It's is the contraction for it is. Okay. Lots of English speakers get that. Okay. So it, it's. What a crazy cat. It always chases its tail. Everyone loves it. Okay. We, our. Hour, stupid English, like one hour, hour, our family, our class, our country. That's what it sounds like. It's one hour. It's dumb. Anyway, okay, so we, our, and then they and their, T-H-E-I-R. So that's possessive adjective. They love their new car, okay? I see them in it all the time. They love their new car. Okay, so let's flip to the front and write in our possessive adjectives, okay? And we can use names. So my name, your name. You see how we're filling it in? Okay, my name, your name, his name, her name, its name, no apostrophe. Our name, that's the stupid one. Their name, okay? Um, oh gosh. Okay. This is very bad English, but for y'all, sometimes you'll hear Texans say y'all's. It's like y'all's name. Or just use your. Okay. So those are possessive adjectives. They always, 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 always have a noun that comes after them. Okay? They always have a noun that comes after them. They are describing the noun that comes after them. Those are possessive adjectives. Okay, now we're going to move on and do possessive pronouns, which is the last one. And then we're all going to go take a nap. Okay? Okay, we're almost done. All right, so now we're going to talk about ta -da, possessive Pronouns. So down here, look at rule number one. Possessive pronouns are used in place of possessive adjectives and nouns. Okay? And nouns. For example, mine can take the place of my book or my book. Okay, so let's look at this. So the possessive pronoun, not the possessive adjective, the possessive pronoun is mine. Okay? So I have, you have your book and I have mine, okay? So this is the possessive pronoun. If we wanted to use a possessive adjective, we would have to say this, my book. You have your book and I have my book. So now this is the possessive adjective, right? Because it's before book. So when you don't have the noun that comes after, then you're going to use this one, the possessive pronoun. So instead of saying my book, we just replaced it and said mine. Okay? 
So I have my book and you have yours. I have my book and he has his. I have my book and she has hers. Are you seeing a pattern? Look, rule number two. Mine is the only possessive pronoun that does not end in S. Okay? And there's no difference in English between singular or plural with possessive pronouns. For example, hers can mean her book or her books. So if you go back up here where it says, I have my books, let's say that. I have my books, now I made it plural, and she has hers. So we don't know if she has one book or many in this case, all right? It's not very specific. Um, so those are possessive pronouns, which you will use when there's not a noun that comes out, okay? So if we flip back to the front, let's do our possessive pronouns. The only one that's different here is this, my, mine, right? And then all of the rest of them end in S, yours, his, hers, it's, ours, theirs. Again, we would say y'all's, that's y'all's or that's yours, okay? So all of the rest of these have an S. Okay, so I'm sure you understand that because that's pretty easy, but the challenge, right? The challenge now is for you to practice, okay? So um, I really like this activity that's on Wednesday because it's gonna make you practice. Okay, um, so don't worry about the question if you, I don't care about the question right now. Um, okay, so look, your name is Keith, Keith Mark. I don't like this one. Okay, the keys, oh, they are Mark's keys. So we're going to do just like plain old possession in this one, okay? And then in this one, we're going to use both the possessive adjective and the possessive pronoun. Okay, so they are Mark's, no, they are his keys. They are his. Okay, they are his keys. So here, this is the possessive adjective because it's before keys. This one is the possessive pronoun because there's no keys, right? It's just, a, it's replacing his keys. You're just saying his. Okay, I like that one because it's going to make you practice, all right? Um, yeah, I will send you the answers to these today and tomorrow. Um, but good luck. I hope that you understand that. And if you don't, then we can talk about it in the Zoom on Thursday. All right. Have a good Wednesday, and I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday when we have our Zoom at 10 a.m.